okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our solution, which is half water and half chemical. This is an emulsifier that actually goes onto the surface of the paint. It encapsulates the dirt and makes it very simple for me to remove the debris, the loose debris that's on the surface of the paint, right off the car, virtually scratch free. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a mist of water and spray it right over the surface of the car. And as you can see, I've got 100% coverage. Now what I don't do, I don't get on the car and scrub. What I do is I set my microfiber rag down and all I'm doing is I'm pulling the loose debris that's on the surface of the paint and I'm pulling it right off the car. Very simple, easy, and I'm dragging it from the center out. I'm not going to go back and forth over the surface of the car. I set the rag in the middle and I pull the debris towards me and I let the, the emulsifier and the chemical and the microfiber rag do all the work removing the debris off the surface of the paint. Next what I want to do is I want to remiss the car again. Do a real quick, light, easy miss. Same exact thing. I'm going to use my detailer's clay to go over the surface of the paint and I'm going to clay the surface of the paint and make sure that all the contaminants that are embedded into the paint are going to come out. Now as you can see, I have plenty of lubricant. The clay is literally gliding right over the surface of the paint. Very, very a condensed form of lubrication that's making sure that I'm not putting a scratch or a clay mark in the surface of the paint. Very light clay man needed to remove all the contaminants on this car and I want to follow in a nice easy pattern and make sure I get the entire car completely clay. And you can even see in the coat the rust coming off of this car and actually the debris that's stuck under the clay. All I'm doing now is I'm putting a final wipe on the car and making sure that my surface is dry. I definitely have a smooth as glass finish, so there's no contaminants left on my paint. This paint is now ready for a polish, and now I'm going to go through and wax it. So one of the things we want to do, if we sold it, we want to offer the customer a really good engine detail. So real quickly, what we want to do is show you with low pressure washing and eco-friendly way of detailing, that can be accomplished quite easily. What I'm going to do is pop the hood real quick. Check out the engine and see just how dirty it is. And yes, it definitely needs an engine detail. We've got quite a bit of dirt, dust, and debris on the car. We've got some, looks like some pine needles leaves here that we've got to take care of. So real quickly what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow off the engine with a, my uh, compressed air. So pretty much we've blown off all the loose debris, the leaves, any kind of things, some heavy duty dirt and dust and stuff has come off the engine. Now what we want to do is we want to set this thing up, do a low pressure wash, get this thing looking new again. For that, we have to reclaim our water. We have to make sure that none of the water that we detail an engine with is going to go through the system and land on the ground. We've got this quick and easy, very simple easy solution, wash mat, slides right underneath, the engine compartment. Very simply stated, we're going to take our low pressure washer and we can do just about every part of the engine that you normally do with a high pressure washer and go over the whole engine. So basically, what we've done is we've completely rinsed the engine with water. I kind of missed it both sides a little bit on the fenders so that my all-purpose cleaner won't damage the paint in any kind of way. I completely sp spread a deep razor all-purpose cleaner over the entire engine, letting it work for about a minute or two, and you'll be amazed at the results when we're finished. Now what I want to do is I want to take my water, I'm going to rinse off my all-purpose cleaner really quick.
As you can see, this is a fantastic tool for getting most of the excess water out of all the nooks and crannies. You do have a shop. One of the great things about owning a shop is you have open air. Very, very good. Same exact thing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my silicone-free dressing. One of the nice things about using silicone-free, not only is the body shop safe, silicone-free. Obviously, silicone can ignite under heat, so I definitely want to use a silicone-free dressing underneath the hood. I'm going to real quickly just go front to rear, get my dressing completely set up all over the entire engine. Also note that silicone has a tendency to damage certain wires and components, so you want to be careful with that as well. I go side to side. I've pretty much got 100% coverage with my silicone free dressing. Then what I want to do is take my overhead air again, take that excess dressing that's on the engine, Okay, once I'm done dressing the engine, blowing off all the excess dressing, I can really take, I can take a microfiber rag and quickly wipe everything down. Any excess dressing that I may have, just over it. Giving it a final look, a final touch. Sure, my hoses look good, but my plastic components are nice and dressed up. Looking good. Cool, nice and clean, dressed up very nice and set up. Virtually no water. Take our dirty microfiber red. And real quickly. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a great car to do. Looking forward there. Go eco-friendly green.